Hey there. Get excited, because we're about to uncover the solution to living without joint pain. Arthritis. It's that hidden problem causing aches, stiffness, and trouble moving. Are you tired of feeling this way? Well, today we're going to cover the worst food for arthritis, and we've got the answers to help you feel better. There are more than 100 types of arthritis, but the most common ones are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Osteoarthritis is often related to getting older and the wear and tear on your joints, while rheumatoid arthritis happens because your immune system isn't working as it should. At its core, arthritis is all about inflammation, which is when parts of your body get swollen and sore. Unfortunately, there isn't a known cure for arthritis. However, there are different ways to manage it depending on the type you have. These methods can include things like physical therapy, exercises, using special supports for your joints, and taking medications. Plus, what you eat can make a big difference. Today, we'll chat about the kinds of foods that can make arthritis symptoms worse, and we'll explain why it's a good idea to stay away from them. Keep in mind, our bodies are affected by what we eat. Research has shown that many people have improved their health by making the right food choices. Here are seven foods that aren't so great if you have arthritis. Number one, red meat. Arthritis often means our body's immune system gets upset and causes pain and swelling. Red meat has things that can make this inflammation worse. One of these things is called arachidonic acid, which can turn into stuff that makes inflammation worse. Eating red meat can make more arachidonic acid in our body, which might make the inflammation in arthritis worse. Red meat also has lots of omega-6 fatty acids. These are good for us, but we need to balance them with omega-3 fatty acids. If we have too much omega-6 and not enough omega-3, it can make inflammation worse. Eating too much red meat can mess up this balance, making inflammation in arthritis worse. If you have gout, a type of arthritis, eating too much red meat can be especially bad. Red meat has lots of purines, which turn into uric acid in our body. Too much uric acid can make crystals in our joints, and that's what causes the really painful and swollen alcohol. joints in gout. Number two, alcohol. Many experts agree that drinking too much alcohol can be bad for your health and make things like inflammation worse. Here's how it can affect your arthritis. Too much alcohol can cause more inflammation in your body, which might make your arthritis pain worse. Alcohol can make you feel really thirsty and dehydrated, which means your body doesn't have enough water. Dehydration can make your joints feel stiffer and more painful, especially if you already have arthritis. If you're taking medicines for your arthritis, alcohol can mess with how they work. This can affect how well your arthritis is controlled and how you feel. Drinking too much alcohol can also be tough on your bones, and that's not good for arthritis. Arthritis can already make your bones weaker, and alcohol can make them even more fragile. If you want to see if cutting out alcohol helps, you can try not drinking it at all for about four to six weeks. You might notice less joint pain caused by inflammation, and you might even sleep better, which can also help with chronic pain. But before we move further, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Number three, salty foods. Salty foods have a lot of salt or sodium in them. Salt is often used to make food taste better and last longer, but eating too much salt can be bad for our health, especially if we have arthritis. Eating too much salt can cause inflammation in our bodies. Inflammation is how our body reacts to injury or things that can harm it. For people with arthritis, inflammation in their joints causes a lot of pain and stiffness. Having too much salt can make our body release certain immune cells that make inflammation worse, making arthritis symptoms more painful and uncomfortable. Some types of arthritis, like rheumatoid arthritis, are autoimmune diseases. This means our immune system mistakenly attacks healthy parts of our body, including our joints. Eating a lot of salt might make this immune response worse, which can make the symptoms of autoimmune arthritis even more severe. Eating too much salt can mess with the balance of calcium in our bodies. 
Calcium is super important for keeping our bones strong and preventing bone problems. If you have arthritis, keeping your bones healthy is extra important to avoid more joint issues. Too much salt can make our bodies get rid of too much calcium through our pee, which can make our bones Added weaker sugars. Over. Number four. Added sugars. Sugar that's added to food and drinks during processing or cooking is called added sugars. These are not the same as the natural sugars you find in fruits, veggies, and dairy products. Common sources of added sugars include sodas, candies, cookies, and many packaged foods. Too much sugar can cause our bodies to become more inflamed. Inflammation is like the body's response to something harmful, like an injury or infection, but too much of it can be bad for our joints and make arthritis pain worse. Sugary foods and drinks are often high in calories. Eating too many of these can lead to gaining extra weight, which puts more pressure on our joints, especially in our legs, hips, and spine. This can make arthritis pain and discomfort even more noticeable. Some studies suggest that consuming lots of sugar might harm the proteins that keep our joints strong. When these proteins get damaged, our joints become weaker and more susceptible to arthritis. Number 5. Foods High in Purines Some foods have something called purines. When you eat these foods, your body turns them into uric acid. Here are some foods with a lot of purines. Organ meats, things like liver, kidneys, and other organ meats. Certain seafood, like anchovies, sardines, and mackerel. Red meat, like beef and game meats from wild animals like deer, which can also have lots of purines. Some veggies, like spinach, asparagus, and cauliflower. They have moderate levels of purines. Usually our bodies are good at getting rid of extra uric acid through our kidneys, and it doesn't cause problems. But sometimes, our bodies make too much uric acid or can't get rid of it well. When there's too much uric acid in your blood, it can turn into crystals and get stuck in your joints. This can make your joints swell up, hurt a lot, and get all red and hot. This problem is called gout, and it's a type of arthritis. Gout often affects the big toe, but it can also happen in other joints, like your ankles, knees, and fingers. So, when you eat foods high in purines, it can make uric acid levels go up, and these crystals can form in your joints, causing gout, which is a type of arthritis that makes your joints Night really shades. painful and sweet. Number 6. Nightshades. Nightshades are a group of plants like tomatoes, potatoes, eggplants, and peppers. Some people think that certain things in nightshades might make arthritis symptoms worse, especially if you have the kind of arthritis that causes a lot of inflammation. But it's not super clear, and it can be different for each person. Nightshades have stuff in them called alkaloids, which might mess with our immune system and cause more inflammation in some people, especially those with types of arthritis that have a lot of inflammation, like rheumatoid arthritis. Some people believe these alkaloids might make the inflammation worse. Some people might be sensitive to certain things in nightshades. It's different for everyone, but some people might feel stomach problems or joint pain after eating nightshade veggies. Thanks for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.